Hi everyone, I'm Evan Barlas and we are outside of Oracle Arena after game one of the NBA Finals where the Golden State Warriors defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers 124 to 114 in overtime in a very thrilling game packed with a lot of intense stuff. I'm here with Colin and Wade to talk uh, to break down the game and to give some of the biggest takeaways. Colin? Well, I think the biggest takeaway in tonight's game was the J.R. Smith play. After George Hill missed his second free throw, J.R. Smith would grab the rebound with four seconds left. The game was tied, and he ran it back, and he didn't even attempt to shoot it. They had a timeout. They could have taken a timeout. He could have passed it out to LeBron or passed it out to George Hill, who was on top of the key. He had so many options, or he could have just thrown it back up like anybody else would, but he didn't. And the game went to overtime, and in overtime, the Cavs just didn't perform well, and they got blown out 114-124. to 124. Overtime was all Warriors, and J.R. Smith, that's his fault. He should have put the ball back up, and he should have passed it to LeBron or called a timeout. He had so many options. I don't know what he was thinking. He must have thought they had the lead. But, yeah, that's all I have. That was the biggest takeaway, I think, in tonight's game. Thank you. Wait. Another takeaway was the performance of Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant in overtime. They dominated overtime, making it, creating a huge gap between the Cavaliers and the Warriors to give them the ultimate win after J.R. Smith's horrible play at the end of the game. To you, Evan. Thank you guys for your takeaways. And that has been the post-game show wrap-up after game one of the NBA Finals. Thank you.